Uh, actually, the colorization and restoration process is a very long and delicate and complex process. We split it in a lot of different uh, steps. Uh, the first one is when we receive the black and white footage, we start analyzing uh, every shot, find some color references to recreate the, the object, the person, the background, the buildings, the cars, everything in color uh, compared to what it uh, was at that time. So we work with a, with a, a team of uh, researchers and historians that are color investigators, calling some collectors and uh, crazy uh, reenactors passionate by uh, uh, one particular fil uh, field, yeah. And we putting color on the footage is more like working with micro history because we are uh, really concerned about details. The second very important step is the restoration of the footage because they come from a lot of different uh, libraries. The quality of the footage is very random, so we remove uh, the scratches, the stains, the moistures, uh, everything we can to make it look uh, as clean and uh, how it was when it, it was shot at that time. After that, we start uh, associating to every object uh, the right colors uh, on one or several photograms of every shot. And after that, we can start uh, replicating the colors on every single frame of the, of the film, which is more uh, animation and rotoscopy work. For that, we work with a very huge and talented team of uh, animators and artists. For this series, uh, there was 3,000 shots to uh, restore and colorize, which represents around 300,000 frames. And that's a big amount of, uh, of work. And we worked for more than nine months on the, on the five episodes of the series, which is big. <laughs>